We have an address for Andrea's husband, so let's go visit him. He is... where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here, here, here. So, you're the husband, huh? Yes. Did she send you? Didn't she have the guts to come herself? The, the guts? What? No, she suffered memory loss and is actually doing quite terribly right now. <laughs> memory loss? Ha. Huh. She probably just drank too much. Well, you're a terrible husband. Yeah, what's this about you lying to her and telling her that you're out of the country? She knows about this place. We're getting a divorce, so I will move here permanently. Soon. I sometimes tell her that I'm abroad when I'm here, though. To get the kids on my back. Oh, so you hate your wife and your kids. Wow. So, uh, your late daughter, what was her nickname? Yes. Winch. But, uh, what's that got to do with anything? Long story, her murderer set up a really long scavenger hunt, and that was one of the clues. Okay, so, uh, another clue is where your wife eats lunch. It, it varies, I guess. At some restaurant? I don't know. Look, me and two buddies play in a band. Come and watch us play some night. The girls, they love us. Oh man, your band looks amazing. He's got his guitar, the obstipation, they like playing soccer and crossing police lines. I, this is weird. Okay. I'll definitely do that, buddy. I will definitely check out your band. Not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so puzzle time. Winch is the daughter's nickname. So that's actually gonna be the password for her computer, which is right here. W-I-N-C-H. And we are going to check out this bank statement. So get your Visa card ready and punch in the code. So this is the card reader and this was the Visa card. We're gonna put them together. And the code was 4735? 735. And this tells us, hey, this is where she spends money. So she regularly goes to the Asian garden. Asian garden? That must be where Andrea eats lunch. I'm supposed to go to something opposite that restaurant. Okay, and that's going to be our next clue, is uh, that place. Excellent, cool. So let's, let's go there as soon as we can, right now. I think that's the clue we have to follow. So, uh, opposite the Asian Garden is this museum about Nils Strandberg, one of the guys in the uh, Suchet expedition. Oh, look at these cool photographs. Those are kind of cool. Well, huh. I think those are supposed to be photographs. Um, no, okay, so these are photographs of Nils' wife. I don't, I don't think that's actually important, um, who the photographs are, but they are nice photographs. Uh, so let's see, buried, they are uh, the, the trio, the trio of explorers buried at a cemetery. So let's go to said cemetery. They are here at the adventurer's grave. Uh, where, oh, where could that be? Here. So Suchet, Frankel, and Strainberg, and what's this? I made sure they'll have another body to bury soon. I just killed somebody and put the body close to the Coquina mine. Go down in the mine and find out more! <laughs> okay, so the murderer is now a serial killer. That's... Awful. Oh no! Oh, I think that's where the body is found too. It's kind of terrible. All right, so we did actually have the map here. The game's telling us you have this map. This map will tell you where you are at any point. So let's see. These are people who showed up. Oh, it's our friend Stina. Stina Johansson. Oh, well, I guess she visited here recently. Huh? Is that her last name? I, 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 
I did not mean to leave. <laughs> the Coquina Mine Route. Alrighty, let's see if we can figure out where this dead body is. And I think we've got we've got two puzzles. So puzzle number one. I'm not going down there. Is getting that. That is uh, a Andrea's handbag. Okay, so we need to uh, get something which will let me grab it because Carol refuses to to go down there. She she absolutely refuses. I guess I can't blame her. I don't see any crime scenes. Here it is. No. Hmm. No, it's not there. Here it is. The lime kiln. This must have been where the body was placed. Definitely. So is there anything else we could look at here? Or is it just this, the crime scene? Yeah, the police have already cleaned this up. I don't really see anything here for me to find. Ah, new message. Stina found something. Oh, great. Good, Stina. Okay, thank you. Let's leave. Stina. What did you find I out? I found a recent article about Andrew Suchet. Suchet? Well, that'll be helpful. I printed it out, but I must have mislaid it somewhere. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're a very forgetful person. Why don't you just pick it up or print it out a second time? While I look for it, can you drop by my house and prepare some wine ice? I'm having my boss over for dinner tonight. Just pour some wine into an ice cube tray and put it in the freezer. Don't you work in a public library? Isn't it like impossible to get fired from a public library? I I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Kirill complains that you're making me do stupid things. This is pointless. And I like how her task notebook says, you have to carry out ridiculous tasks in Stina's house. Totally, totally a waste of time. It's like, I do not care about this at all. <laughs> I know we're friends. Oh, oh. But Carol just does not like how Stina forces her to just do stuff in exchange. Isn't this like the second thing that uh, Stina's forced us to do here? Is that a fancy picture of Stina? Eh, it's a fancy picture of her. Okay. She's got a lot of books. I guess it makes sense. She works in a library. Probably reads a lot. Hmm. Let's see. I need to get some wine. There's the wine. I'll just grab it. I don't have a corkscrew, so I'm going to improvise with the Torx screwdriver. Okay. In uh, English, we call that a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Don't know who Philip is. Anyway, we, we use it to open the wine. And then we uh, put the wine in there. And then we're going to put it in the freezer. Ah, oh, that must be her uh, kids. Stina has kids, right? She has a daughter, I, I think. I was mentioned in one of the previous games. Anyway, I think we're done with this uh, silly task. Silly, silly task. So let's go back to Stina. Here's the article. So we have this random professor, Professor Barks. Um, no, no, Professor Barks or Professor Bark? His name is Bark here, but Bark's there. Well, we're not gonna meet him, so I guess it doesn't matter. So the professor is gonna write about the Andrew Shushay expedition. He has found new evidence that um, there was a second person, okay? So history tells us that Oscar Lenovo was the only person who discovered uh, the corpses of the uh, Suchet expedition. It turns out that there is another man. Somebody else went with Lenovo, and the professor's trying to figure out who this mystery person is, who discovered uh, the Suchet expedition. It's not just Oscar, it's some other guy. And, uh, hey, Stina, do you know about this murder? Sure, this is from today. Oh wow, it takes you like two seconds to find this, but it took you forever to find that piece of paper. Nice. Uh, okay, so who was killed in the lime kiln? Veronica Hagler, 51, discovered shortly before 5 p.m. The sign around her neck said Sun Circles. Okay, so that's the clue, Sun Circles. That should lead us to the next location. 
The problem is, that's the clue that only Andrea can understand. I have no idea what that means. Oh, dear. Thanks, Dina. See you later. And we can't ask Andrea about I'll it, can we? Rest. We can't ask her about it. So, uh, we're gonna have to follow up on the university lead instead. Figure out what's happening with this professor. As I indicated, we're not gonna see him. We're actually gonna talk to his assistant. His assistant is the one who's going to help us.